pigeon. There's no way. Sorry, were you recording? Actually, I was. <gasps> yeah. Yep. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today, I'm going to be running some errands. I am in New York City, which is really fun. So I thought I would take you guys with me. I want to go to Barnes & Noble for sure. And then I think I might just pop into like other places that like I think are cutesy or anything. Um, I literally just filmed this intro and I like you couldn't hear me. So I just wanted to do it for like better quality. But yeah, today's December 30th. So it's New Year's Eve Eve. So hopefully it's not too crowded out there. But yeah, also if I'm, I'm really going to try my best to film a lot, but I have like a fear of like, I have like anxiety thing with filming in public. I can't even film for my family, it's so bad. And I got to get over that because I feel like there's such good content that I could always like think of, but I can't do it because I'm like anxious to film in front of people. Also, ignore my under eyes. They're bugging me this morning. I don't know why. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in like two seconds. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something that I got for Christmas. Not the Stanley, but the straw topper. Is it like so cute? Look how cute it is! It's a polar bear and it like came in a pack of two so there's that one and there's one that's like tan and it's for me and my sister to share and it's just really cutesy. Anyways, I'll see you guys in like two seconds when I hit the road. I just left the Barnes and Noble. Just left the Barnes and Noble and I got this cute little bag. It was like $2.50. I didn't record on my camera. I recorded on my phone because I was too anxious to take my camera out and to do that. But hey, big step. Got some stuff on my phone. I didn't get any like actual like me. Like you couldn't really see me in any of the videos. You'd see my hands. Like I didn't like, want to prop my phone up on them. Say hi, Melissa. You're so cute. See, I would actually go and get it for my sister, but then I feel like if they have something for my brother, and I just would feel bad. Anyways, um, I am back to the apartment now. Oh, there's a guy next to me who's parallel parking who doesn't know how to parallel park. It's quite obvious. Anyways, so I want to talk about my experience now as I walk. Um. I did spend that much money. I'm actually quite proud of myself. It definitely was a lot, but I split it between two, between cash and card, um, which is a habit that I've been getting lately, which definitely does not help my shopping addiction. Um, but I did that and it might be helped. Um, so yeah, I got four books. The fourth one is definitely going to be a shock to some people. It's a shock to me, but I kind of just went for it. But you guys will see when I get back, I'll do a haul, of course. The eye makeup is okay eating today. It's a gray look, and I kind of like it. I am planning on stopping at a bakery that is like on the way, and then I'm debating if I should get my pizza from this place I've been going to. So we will see. I'll end up doing that. I definitely should be wearing my glasses when I walk because I think <sighs> safety wise, it would just allow me to see my surroundings better. But it's fine. It smells actually like oh, it's your fucking fat ass pigeon. There's no way. There's no way. Pigeons are scary. I just passed the most fat pigeons ever. Feral, bro. I don't know what they eat. This was probably like the worst audio ever because it's me going. <laughs> as I like pants in the streets in New York. Also, this is my fit. So, my purse, it's with me. I just keep it in my coat because I'm afraid of like getting pit pocketed, pit, pick pocketed. Getting robbed, basically. 
and I'm totally afraid someone's gonna put their hand in my bag of books and take something, but it's fine. So yeah, bit converse. I'm wearing a cute pink top. One of these days I'm gonna wear what Wells Fargo is. I always pass it, don't even know what it is. Okay, I'm walking the right way, which is good. So I'm not that far. But yeah, I will see you guys when I get back and I'll do a haul and talk to you guys more about my Barnes Noble experience today. My lip is chopped. Ugh, it's so bad. So I am back. It is 5.09. I've been back for I feel like an hour already, honestly. Yeah, actually an hour. So I'm gonna give you guys a haul of everything I got. I do wanna quickly talk about like my experience. Hi, okay, this is me just editing. If you don't wanna hear me rant for like two minutes about my Barnes Noble experience, totally understandable. If you wanna just skip to the haul, just click this time slot right here. Just go to this timestamp. I don't know the word for it. And uh, yeah. So I'm like a pain in the ass when it comes shopping at Barnes & Noble. My biggest thing, anyone who goes with me knows, like they, they don't. I just, I price, I have them price match all of the books that I get with their online site. Because online it's usually cheaper than in store. And if they can't, Barnes & Noble is already so expensive. And I literally go there only, the only reason why I go to Barnes & Noble and not have myself buy books from Barnes & Noble is because of the aesthetic. And I, they're so expensive. And the least, if they can't price match with Target, with Walmart, with Amazon, the least they can do is price match with their own online store. So usually when i'm at home i always do that when i would come to the city i would go to the barnes noble that i go to and they would be like we can't do that the manager would come right up and be like we can't do that we don't do that here i remember one time she came up and she was like just this once i'll do it for you but we don't normally do this like full attitude not having it after that they never did it again for me they just redid the whole store and since they redid it when i go they instantly price match it but that manager is always there. I don't know if it's the exact same one, but she's always there. And today I go, I'm like, can you price match it? And it's an older guy, super, super sweet. And he was like, yeah, I think we do that. Calls over the lady, the girl's like, oh, we price match here. And she's like, yeah, we do. It takes one look at me and is like, yeah, we do. She knew who I was. Like, there's no way she didn't recognize me. Maybe I'm the only person who does this. I don't know. So she looks at me and she's like, which one did you want to price match? All of like, them. And I was like, all of them. And she goes, Okay, obviously I didn't say with that attitude. Let me, let me backtrack. I was like, um, all of them. I get like super shy and like weird because I feel bad even though I shouldn't. And then I leave and I'm like, that bitch, whatever. So I'm like, oh, I want all of them. And then she's like, okay, full attitude looks at me. And she's like, in the future, you could just order them online and pick them up in the store. Girl, that's not the point. If I'm going to order them online and pick them up in the store, I'm going to order them from Amazon and get them shipped to me in a day. Like I, and it's so much cheaper. That's not, no. I come to Barnes Noble solely because of the aesthetic of walking around and picking up my books. It takes you two seconds to do that price match. It literally took him two seconds and he was more than happy to do it. It is only you. I've literally never had an issue with any other worker doing it in my Barnes Noble and any Barnes Noble I've gone to because I've been to, I've been to a plethora, okay? Even in that exact one, anyone except her. She's the only one that gives me an issue every time. It takes them two seconds, I see them do it. If you don't want that to be an issue, don't make your books, maybe, I don't know, don't have your books be so expensive. Obviously I'm sure she doesn't control that, but come on now. Anyways, um, for those of you who don't know, since I'm all about price matching, Target price matches with both Walmart Target online and Amazon. So I love going to Target for my books. You have to go to customer service to do it though, but I love it. I've never had any of them give me a problem either. Um, so yeah. I also, Walmart price matches with their online store. And I think with Amazon as well, I'm pretty sure, but they definitely price match with their online store. Literally the only place that gives you an issue is Barnes & Noble and they're the most expensive. So to each their own for that. Anyways, um, we're gonna get right into it. This is the little bag. I got this bag because four-story Barnes Noble. I saw it and I was like, that's a sign. And I wanted this bag. 
So, and it was only $2.50, so I figured, hey, why not? We have four books, and my total was $57.10. So the first book that I picked up, I'm gonna go in the order that I found them, is If He Had Been With Me, because I've been seeing TikToks of like quotes from this book, and sorry, I have this morning books, I'm like weird. Um, I've seen TikToks of people with this book and quotes, and they have just been like sobbing, and I know this sounds like really weird, and like, oh my God, I've been crying. I've been wanting a book lately that like is just gonna make me kind of cry, if that makes sense. It doesn't, it doesn't take much, I'm, I'm literally a crier. Look at me the wrong way and I'll cry. But anyways, I wanted this book, and I went in with the intent that I was gonna get this. And the back of it says that it's $10.99 and I got it for $10.99. So I swore online that they had it for cheaper, but yeah. And I literally sit in there. I don't know if I showed you. I was gonna screen record my phone because I thought it'd be funny, but I literally sit on the floor and I jump in between tabs, Barnes and Noble, Amazon calculator, Barnes and Noble, Amazon calculator, and do all the math. And that's how I like sit and go from like the seven books I had to the stack I have. I'm psychotic, but whatever. This is the first book. I will read you guys the back. If you guys can hear noise in the background, it's because I'm in the city and what can I say? If he had been with me, everything would have been different. Autumn and Finn used to be inseparable, but then something changed, or they changed. Now they do their best to ignore each other. Autumn has her boyfriend, Jamie, and her close-knit group of friends. Finn has become that boy at school, the one everyone wants to be around. That still doesn't stop the way Autumn feels every time she and Finn cross paths, and the growing, nagging thought that maybe things could have been different. Maybe they should be together. And as time passes, Autumn realizes she might not get another chance to make things right before it's too late. Literally, also, I just love the way the book feels in my hand, but sounds like I'm gonna love it. Add it to my long ass TBR. So I'm excited for that. The next book that I picked up is binding 13 this is the bloom cover i had no idea this book was young adult i low-key thought it was adult i'm shocked that it was young adult but anyways i picked this up because i have been seeing it a lot on booktube and all that and i just didn't get it because i did not like the cover i genuinely don't like people on covers and the cover just repulsed me i judge a book by its cover what can i say so I picked this one up because it looked, I was like, oh my god, I love that cover. Let me get it. Let me finally. It feels super floppy. I don't know what it is with this book. It just feels floppy. Maybe it's because it's a bigger book. I don't know. But this book, the back has it as $14.99. And I got it for $13.49. So $1.50 less when I price matched it. I'll read you guys the back of it. He wants to save her. She wants to hide. She's damaged. He's determined. Fate brought them together, love binds them. Johnny Cavanaugh has everything going for him. On the rugby pitch, he's a force to be reckoned with, even plagued with a hidden injury. Everyone knows he's heading straight for the top, but that means there's no room for mistakes or distractions. Not even the new, the shy new girl at Tommen College. The one with the sad eyes and concealed bruises. He needs to stay focused, keep his cool, and not let anything get in the way of the bigger picture. Except before he knows it, this lonely girl has become his only picture. Life has never been easy for Shannon Lynch. Bullied and tortured, she arrives at Tommen College midway through the school year, praying for a fresh start and desperate to shake off the demons that plague her. But when she meets the notorious Johnny Kavanaugh on her first day, her plans to keep a low profile are at serious risk. As they fall into a complicated friendship and grapple with their undeniable chemistry, hidden pain and complicated secrets threaten to be their undoing. But Johnny won't give up on Shannon, no matter what it might cost them both. That sounds good. I'm excited for this one too. I just keep seeing a lot and I was like, it literally don't even, this is like probably the most unexpected purchase for me because I did not imagine ever getting this book. Like it just didn't interest me honestly because of the cover, but I, I have it now. So, you know, the next book that I got is an unexpected one. It's definitely a wild buy. You guys are probably going to make fun of me for this one, but um this book has it on the back as $14.99 it was 15 it was 50% off so I got it for $7.49 and it is Dork Diaries Tales from a Not So Posh Paris Adventure I did not think I was gonna get this book 
I have known it's about its existence for a while. I have always wanted to finish this story. So I finally picked this book up. This is the book that I'm missing. I have read all of these back here. And this is the book that I'm missing. And I don't know if they're gonna make another one, but this book, I had been saying that it was gonna come out for years and it's finally out. So I had to get it. Plus it was 50% off. You know I was gonna get it. So I'll be reading this. Trust, best believe, I'll be reading this. Judge me all you want. Anyways, the last and final book is a book that I went in knowing I wanted to get it, um, but I would have preferred the paperback. Um, but I went up to the people and I was like, hey, I'm looking at this book. And they're like, okay, it's downstairs on one of the tables. And I was like, oh, do you not have a paperback? And she was like, no, we don't. We only have hardcover. And she goes, because it's like, it's weird. I don't even think paperback. And then the person next to her goes, yeah, the paperback's not even out yet. It's so new. They don't even make a paperback version of this. It's on Amazon. I just... Anyways, I picked up Powerless. I had to, like I had to get this book. It had to be a staple. Like it, I just, I have seen so many people talk about this book and unlike the other fantasy book of I think 2024, of 2023, I feel like fantasy wise, the two most talked about books of 2023 were Powerless coming in hot at the end of the year and Once Upon a Broken Heart. And I can't get my hands on that series because I'm weird and can't bring myself to read that cover. This is a gorgeous cover though. And I don't care if the UK one is pink. This is gonna suffice for me, okay? Anyways, I I'm like, it's like my child. Like that's how excited I am to read this. I have such high hopes for this book. If it does not work out, I'm gonna be so upset because my hopes for this book are here. Like I'm so excited. Like, I, I have to have been excited if I not only didn't order the $11 one on Amazon, didn't get the paperback, I have the hardcover at Barnes & Noble. This book, I, I'm putting so much energy and hope into this book. Like, you don't even know. Like, I am ecstatic for this shit. It better be good. Anyways, I'll read you guys the inside cover. Only the extraordinary belong in the kingdom of Ilya. The exceptional, the elites. The elites have possessed powers for decades, gifted to them by the plague, while those born ordinary are just that, banished from the kingdom of Ilya and shunned from society. No one knows this better than Peyton Gray, an ordinary posing as a psychic to blend in with the elites. But when she unwittingly saves one of Ilya's princes, Kai Azar, she's thrown into the Persian trials, a brutal competition showcasing the elite's powers. If the trials and the opponents within them don't kill her, the prince she's fighting feelings for will if he discovers that Peyton is completely ordinary. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be real with you. The instant cover does not sound as exciting, but I've heard a lot about it. And I honestly would have loved this book, but when I opened it, the dedication, not even the dedication. Well, yeah, the dedication. The, for every girl who has ever felt powerless, had me at that, like had me at that. When A, let me just be for real for just a second. If you want me to buy a book, you literally need, this is how like bad I am at like not saving my, not even not saving my money, how bad I am at just buying books and how like um, easily persuaded I am, okay? All you need for me to buy the book, a pretty cover, and a dedication that will feel like a quote on my For You page on TikTok. Like if that dedication, if I read that shit and I'm like, wow. I opened this book and it really said for you. Like it really said, we're looking at you girl. Best believe I am buying that book instantly. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of you in the next one. Bye.